Hello, this is Emmanuel, and we're talking about the most successful man that ever lived and how he handled his team. See, after he had sent them out and they had come back, the most successful man to ever live decided that he was going to ask feedback from his team. See, the story goes that he sent 70 of them out two by two. And when they came back, they ended up giving him reports of different things that happened. And here's the thing, there were many areas where they did a great job, but there were some places where they weren't able to do things that he'd empower them to do. And they asked him the question, hey, how come we weren't able to do some of this stuff? And he gave them answers. See, the lesson here is this. After you ask your team to do some certain stuff and they do it, you need to make sure you have a meeting and you solicit feedback from your team. It's gonna help you understand, number one, where your team is, but number two, it's gonna help you know exactly where you need to instruct them and make sure that things are sharpened. And number three, is also gonna help you identify, you know, in those areas, you know, that maybe you just have it wrong. Feedback is really important. If you don't ask for feedback from your team, they are gonna assume that they're doing everything excellently and that may not be the case at all. See, when people go out, there are two types of people. Some people focus on what they did right, other people focus on what they did wrong. By asking for feedback and asking for the whole picture, for those people that are always focusing on what they do wrong, you can help lift them up to talk about how they're making good progress, whereas also helping them to strengthen the things they need to strengthen. But for the people that just skip past what they've done wrong and they're always looking at what is right, you can also help make sure that yes, you compliment what they did right, but as well decide that you're gonna help them lift up that area. It is very, very important that you have and you implement a system of receiving feedback and giving feedback as well. See, without this kind of a two-way conversation, it's ultimately going to end up in miscommunication and somebody is going to think that they're doing something that maybe doesn't quite align or jive with your expectations for them and what they have the ability to do. So if you haven't implemented a system, sitting down with your team often to make sure you solicit feedback, make sure you do so right now. You have to keep your hand on the pulse. You need to know exactly what the health of your team is and this is gonna help you do that. The moment you stop doing it, you will have people distray and it's gonna create chaos later on. So here's the thing, simple way to do this is make sure that you have a set time where you meet, where you can collect feedback, give feedback as well and make sure you strategize. If you don't have that, you need to implement that right now and make sure you keep it going even if you think that your team is a well-oiled machine. Trust me, don't forget to implement this and keep it going no matter what you think. Thank you so much. I hope you've gotten something out of this that'll help you with your team. It's something the most successful man that ever lived did and it's something that if you do, is gonna help you as well. Thank you and we'll see you next time.